Hey guys, uh, Mr. B here again, bring you another awesome math video. Uh, I just want to follow up to the one that I made earlier today on logarithmic differentiation, basically just another example. Um, so if you didn't catch the first couple on, uh, you know, the derivative of logs and ln, uh, you might want to check that out. Uh, so just a quick recap before, um, you know, I do this video. Um, one thing we need to know for this video is that the derivative, d over dx, of ln of x is equal to 1 over x. That should be ln of x. It's a little bit messy. So the reason why that's important is because if you get this, if you look at this deriv uh, this function right here, and we're going to find a derivative of it in a second, um, it's a really complicated thing. If you, weren't, if you uh, did no logarithmic differentiation, if you went to attempt this question, uh, if you look inside here, you got um, just inside, we have the quotient rule. And of course, that's within the cube root. So, I mean, that's a quotient rule within a chain rule. So, it's a really complicated derivative. So, what logarithmic differentiation does in taking the ln of both sides, and that's what I do, take the ln of both sides, not log of both sides. What that allows us to do is take something that looks really complicated and break it down into a simpler form. So, let's give it a shot. And the first thing we do is to take the ln of both sides. So ln of this side and ln of this guy over here. The one thing you'll have to know for a question like this and it's sort of a requirement for any first year calculus class is your rules of logs and they apply to ln no different because ln is just a special type of log it's the natural logarithm um, it's uh, log base c so all the rules of log apply to ln as well so um, now that I've taken the, the ln of both sides, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my rules of log over here. So first thing we have to uh, know is that this cube root is the same as an exponent of one-third. So I'll rewrite that. Um, this may not be a necessary step if you can sort of see where I'm going with this. So um, x squared plus 1 over x squared minus 1. So all to the one-third. So I just changed it from cube root to the one-third. Well, one of our rules of logs states that we can take any exponent inside a log function and bring it out to be a coefficient. So this exponent one-third can come out here and become a coefficient. So I end up with ln of y is equal to 1 over 3 and oops. let's see 1 over 3, and I have ln of what's left inside, x squared plus 1, all over x squared minus 1. So now what I can do is I can use my rule for um, when I'm dividing inside a log function, I basically have to subtract logs. So I'll separate them one more time. So ln of y is equal to 1 over 3 1 of x squared minus x squared plus 1 subtract 1 over 3 ln of x squared minus 1 so it's important to note that this 1 over 3 affects both terms so I could have used brackets here and put it on the outside if I wanted to it really doesn't matter I, I like putting it on both and if I want to factor it after I can it's really up to you um, so now I'm at the step where I've sort of simp uh, simplified it as much as I possibly can using my rule so now it's, I'm at the step where I take the derivative so this is a really important step we want to write in our d over dx of both sides you sometimes you might want to you know uh, write this in a different step if you don't want to get all messy, but I'm going to be a bit lazy here. And then what we do is we take the derivative. So this, these derivatives, there's three that we're going to take, are much easier than dealing with uh, what we originally had. So the derivative of ln of y, so of course the derivative of ln of x is 1 over x. So the derivative of ln of y is 1 over y. And because it's with respect to x, we have to add in that y prime. So that's the second part of the chain rule, the u prime. Um, so you always got to remember that y prime, easy to forget. But we need that, that's the most important thing, because that's what we're looking for, y prime. Alright, so now we have to take the derivative of these guys. 
Actually, I changed my mind already. I'm going to I'm going to attack that one over three on the outside, and then I'm just going to sort of ignore these one over threes, and now it's on the outside, and just worry about the derivative of this guy, and then this guy. So, um, we we need to remember that the derivative of ln is one over x. So when we have something inside here, we have to use our other rule. So our other rule is the derivative of ln of u, and I don't want to write that part, is one over u times u prime. So it's a lot like this guy, one over y times y prime, one over u times u prime. So one over u is one over x squared plus one times u prime. So u prime, my u in this case is x squared plus one. So my u prime is 2x. And then over here, I'll take the derivative of this guy. So it's 1 over x squared minus 1 times 2x. So if you're having a little bit of trouble with these types of derivatives, you might want to check out one of my other videos where I just do a few of those. I do two, actually, of um, and I use a couple different ways that you know you might like. So check them out. All right, so now I'll just simplify this a little bit. And I got this 1 over y here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tack that on the outside just right here, just like by multiplying both sides by y kind of thing. So 1 over uh, y prime, 1 over 3 times y bracket 2x x squared plus 1 minus 2x over x squared minus 1. Just like that. So really, there's not much left to do other than that y, I know what y is. y is this guy right here. So I can plug that back in all the way down here for y. So it's going to look a little bit messy, but it is what it is. y prime is equal to 1 over 3. And... Um, I forgot what it is. Cube root of x squared plus 1 all over x squared minus 1. And then this nasty little guy in here, 2x all over x squared plus 1 minus 2x over x squared minus 1. So you can see these, these derivatives don't work out nice and neat, but... They work out a lot nicer by using logarithmic differentiation. So I really hope this helps, guys. Um, it's really important to get this technique down. Um, it makes life so much easier. And and even a lot of the stuff that we did earlier in calculus, and you probably did earlier in your courses, um, you can do with log logarithmic differentiation. It makes life a lot easier. So um, I hope this helps you. Uh, if you got any questions, feel free to contact me. Good luck, and uh, talk to you guys later.